Pastor Phil, you're looking at two inch no hub underground, and you're looking at a floor drain right there. These are A band hangers around the pipe with a piece of threaded rod coming up to a galvanized FNM plate, four band no hub clamps. They could be two band. This person decided to use four band. That's cool. The Husky clamps are really, really cool. The drop from wherever the fixture strainer is, whether it's a floor drain, floor sink, you're installing a kitchen sink. You should never exceed a drop of 24 inches from the fixture outlet to the crown rear of a trap. Most people on an underground fail to recognize that. They're just like looking at, oh, let's get the pipes in the ground as deep as we can. And then they have like a five foot riser to the floor drain or floor sink. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? We're coming up. There's a Y ruled above the center line of the drain. So we're venting the floor drain. What do you think? Pass or fail. There is nothing wrong with this. If you can't guarantee you are on virgin soil with solid bearing between your piping along its entire length, um, you should be putting hangers when you're using no hub. Service weight and extra heavy, not so much. No hub, yes. There are inspectors that will let no hub go underground without hangers. But most inspectors have been part of the problems with no hub being installed underground and it wasn't put on virgin soil. As a matter of fact, just as a heads up, if you're putting blocking under pipes or rocks under pipe, it's being installed incorrectly. Can never put blocks under pipes and then backfill. You are supposed to be backfilling and compacting that trench to the point that the trench pitches at the same pitch per foot as the pipe. Well, so this was a pass.